Bert and the Broken Teapot by Tish Summers, illustrated by Diane Dawson Hearn. And this is a request that we had gotten, um, that I had gotten. So I purchased it so we could read it together. Again, if you have any requests, certainly ask for it and I'll try to find it. Sometimes I can't find them though. Bert woke up early. He was too excited to go back to sleep. Today, I'm going to work at Hooper's store, he told his pet pigeon, Bernice. David has to go to the library, so he said I could help out, Bert whispered so he wouldn't wake up Ernie. When Bert arrived at the store, David said, ah, Good morning. You're right on time. Here's an apron for you to wear. Bert slipped the apron on over his head. It fit perfectly. Neato, he said. David showed Bert around the store. He showed him the refrigerator and the soda fountain and the cookie jar. Then he took Bert behind the counter and showed him the teapot on the shelf. Oh, please be careful with the teapot, said David. It is very special because Mr. Hooper gave it to me. Oh, don't worry, David, said Bert. I'll be as careful with your teapot as I am with my paperclip collection. I'll be back in two hours, said David said as he left. Take good care of the store. Oh, don't worry about a thing, Bert answered. He set places at the counter while he waited for his first customers. Soon the door opened and the first customer came in. Oh, hi, Bert, Ernie said. How's it, how's it going? Bert smoothed his apron. Ah, fine, Ernie, he said. The door opened again and three more customers came in. Hi, Bert. May I have a glass of milk? Prairie Dawn asked. Oh, I'd like some Brussels sprouts, said Harry. Cookie, please, said Cookie Monster. Oh, coming right up, said Bert. He knew that was what David said when he was waiting on customers. Maria opened the door. Hi, Bert, she said. She was surprised to see him. Where's David? Oh, he's at the library, Bert told her, and I'm minding the store. Oh, David always makes me a cup of tea, said Maria. Could, could you do that? You bet, Maria, said Bert. Oh, Bert, said Prairie Dawn. May I have some more milk, please? Coming right up, said Bert. Bert was trying to serve his customers as fast as David did. He reached for the milk. Oh, watch out for the teapot, cried Maria. But it was too late. Bert knocked the teapot off the counter. <coughs> it fell to the floor. Oh no, cried Bert. I've broken David's teapot. Everyone stared at the pieces on the floor. Maybe Lewis could fix it, said Prairie Dawn. Yeah, said Harry. I break lots of things and Lewis always fixes them. Go ahead, Bert, said Maria. I'll watch the store while you go to the fix-it shop. Ernie and Bert carefully picked up the pieces and put them in a paper bag. Bert hurried to the fix-it shop, and when he got there, Lewis was fixing a radio. Hi, Bert, Lewis said. What can I do for you? Ah, I was working at Hooper's store and I broke David's teapot, Bert told him. He handed Lewis the bag full of broken pieces. Can, can you fix it for me? Lewis put the broken pieces on the counter and looked at them. I'm sorry, Bert, he said. The pieces are too small to glue together. Are you sure? Bert asked. Lewis nodded his head. Mm, well, thanks anyway, Lewis, Bert said. He left the fix-it shop. He felt very sad. Bert wandered, wandered down Sesame Street, wondering what to do. Hey, you with the pointy head, Oscar called as Bert passed the trash can. You look sad and miserable. Really great. What happened? Bert held out the paper bag full of broken pieces. This is David's tea special teapot, he said, and I broke it. Oscar peered into the bag. Oh, it's beautiful, he said. Want a trade? Oscar disappeared into his trash can and slammed the lid shut. A minute later, he popped up.
holding his favorite grouch teapot. It was cracked and broken. It's great for making hot mud and marshmallows, Oscar said. Bert sighed. Thanks anyway, Oscar, he said. I don't think it would take the place of the teapot Mr. Hooper gave David. Oh, what will I tell David? Bert wondered as he walked past 123 Sesame Street. Hi, Bert, Big Bird called from his nest. What are you so sad? Oh, I was minding the store for David and I broke his special teapot, Bert told him. Ah, oh, Big Bird thought for a minute. Hey, he said. I have something that keeps water hot. Maybe you could use it to, to give it to David in place of his teapot. Big Bird reached into his nest and pulled out a bright red watt hot water bottle. Bird shook his head sadly. I don't think so, Big Bird, he said, but thanks anyway. Bert walked slowly back to Hooper's store. He slipped off the apron, folded it, and sat down to wait for David. Now David will never let me work in his store again, he thought. Maybe he won't be my friend anymore either. Hi, Bert. I'm back, David said. How's it going? Bert took a deep breath. I broke your teapot, David. I was trying to serve the customers as fast as you do, and I knocked it off the counter. He showed David the broken pieces. I'm sorry, said Bert, trying not to cry. David sat down on the stool next to Bert. You know, I think I know how you feel, said David. I used to help Mr. Hooper in the store when I was a little boy. One day I broke his favorite cookie jar. And do you know what he said to me? What? asked Bert. Mr. Hooper said, My friend David is more important to me than any cookie jar. David smiled. And you know what, Bert? What? asked Bert. My friend Bert is more important to me than any teapot, said David. I'll buy you a new teapot, Bert said bravely. I'll save my money and maybe I can sell my paper collection. <laughs> I have a better idea, said David. What's that? asked Bert. You can help me in the store again next Saturday, David said. Do you mean it, David? asked Bert. Groovy, I'll be. I will try not to break anything ever again. I promise I will be careful. I know you will, said David. Oh, that was a great book. Thanks for the suggestion. Good night. I love you.